This is about a little bear who went to visit his grandma and grandpa. And maybe this will give you some ideas of next time you come to visit Nani and grandpa. It's called Milk and Cookies. What is your favorite kind of cookie? Because that's the kind that Nani will bake you next time you come visit me. Even though you're not a little bear, you're little boys and girls. Whoops. Okay, milk and cookies. I think I see another dragon there. Let's see. One wintry day, the bear family went to visit grandma and grandpa. Look at the icicles hanging off. That looks like they're going to the cabin to visit them. When it got to be late, too late to go home, Grandma made up the couch for them in the living room. They have a couch that turns into a bed. Good night, said Grandma and Grandpa. Good night, said Mama and Papa. Good night, said Baby Bear. And then they all went to sleep. In the middle of the night, Baby Bear heard a noise and woke up. Then he saw a strange red light coming from under the cellar door. He climbed out of bed and tiptoed to the door to see what it was. He didn't want to make any noise, so he just peeked through the keyhole. What he saw looked like a giant dragon with flames shooting from its mouth. Grandpa was there feeding it. Do you see that? Oh, a dragon with flames. When the dragon shut his mouth, Grandpa came upstairs. Is there anything wrong? asked Grandpa. No, I'm okay, said Baby Bear. Would you like some milk and cookies? asked Grandpa. No, thank you, said Baby Bear, and he went back to bed. That night, Baby Bear dreamed that the cellar door opened and the dragon came upstairs. I'm hungry, said the dragon. Uh-oh, what would you do if a dragon came and told you he was hungry? What do dragons eat? Baby Bear ran into the kitchen and opened up the refrigerator. What a smart little bear. He poured the dragon a glass of milk and opened up a box of cookies. Yum. Thank you, said the dragon. I like milk and cookies. And he ate everything all up. He didn't save any milk or even one cookie for Baby Bear. Oh, look, he's sad. Just then, Baby Bear woke up crying. Mama and Papa Bear woke up too. Baby Bear told them his dream. Whatever gave you the idea that there was a dragon in the cellar? asked Mama Bear. I saw it, said Baby Bear. If I come downstairs with you, asked Papa Bear, will you show me the dragon? Okay, said Baby Bear, and they went downstairs. In the corner where Baby Bear thought he'd seen a dragon, there was a wood stove. That's the kind of stove that heats a house by putting wood inside of it. Papa Bear opened the door. Inside, the flames glowed brightly. There you see, said Papa Bear. There is no dragon in the cellar, just an old wood stove. When they went back upstairs, Grandma and Grandpa were up. Is everything all right? asked Grandma. It is now, said Papa Bear.
Good, said Grandpa. Let's all have some milk and cookies. See, they're still left because it was just a dream that the dragon ate them all. In the middle of the night, they're all eating milk and cookies. Isn't that silly? What a silly story. But sometimes 